Hi everyone, this is Seiko. I'd like to try triceps、um, kickbacks. So, this is you know, out there forever, right? That's very basic. But、um, I wanted to show you how you can do even better, more effective,、um, do, doing you know, more concentrations and a little bit of a tip so that really feels feel it. And、um, Uh, more effective, I believe. So, all right. By the way, I'm just doing this for, for my booties. So, you put the staggered your feet. This, this case, my right foot is back, right? And your hips are square to forward facing, and your shoulders square as well. And bring your elbows up as high as you can go without. Twisting your you know, upper body or squeezing your shoulder to the face. So keep your shoulders down, pulling down from the back, and elbows up. So bring your dumbbell, your fist straight down from the elbow. Put your hands above your knee and suck your tummy in. Navels nice and tight and squeeze your glute. And move your dumbbell to the back where your elbows actually lock and straight. So at the time, from the front, I'm not doing this. Keep that both shoulders level, right? And right here, your palms are facing towards the side, not the bottom or up, right here. So your pinkies up above and squeeze your. Triceps and bring back right here. So, the basic movement you're not supposed to move your elbows, right? That's very beginners, never done that before, or hasn't been learned yet. Doing this movement, so your triceps are not really,、uh, you know, working. So, make sure your elbows stay on where you start. Extend, squeeze, and keep squeezing, and bring your dumbbells back. At the same time, lift your elbows slightly, just a small, maybe eighth inch. Go back again, squeeze, and keep squeezing your triceps, and slightly up, lift your elbow, and bring back. Exhale out, squeeze, and Elbows up, go back up again and down. So, when you start getting really tired, you can drop your weight. So, over here, out, squeeze, keep squeezing, don't let go, and lift your elbows slightly up and back and out and down. Go up, away, lock your elbow. And down. So you don't have to use heavy weights because heavy weights it's really hard to control the movement, right? So until you get really strong, start really light weight. If you're a beginner, maybe two pounds, three pounds most. I'm using five, that's the most I go. Good. And out, suck your tummy in, same time, right? And don't break the wrist. Keep that same angle and out. And keep that tight and lift your elbow slightly and go back up. And slowly down. So when you do the slower eccentric movement, that really works. That breaks the、uh, muscle fibers, you know, micro millimeters, and that will help grow. The muscle because they it's gonna eventually recover, so you have to give the、uh, 48 hours or so to recover. And with a good, you know,、uh, nutrition,、uh, protein, and、uh, water, right? So, but the focus right here and out and down. Good, just watch my elbow coming back. I lift a little bit and always feel the resistance. Good. And the other side, same thing. Focus. 
your rest of the body, hold, freeze. Suck your tummy in nice and flat and bring your elbow, but not opening your chest. So pull your elbows back and el uh, shoulders back and elbow high and out. Don't break this. I see many people doing that. Don't do that. You don't want to hurt your joints. And back. When you reverse movement, lift your elbow slightly. Exhale. Remember, when you exhale, press down your navel towards the spine. Out. Just doing this, I'm warm, I'm sweating, and I don't have weights with me. So if you don't have any dumbbells, don't worry about it. You can add your brain weights and up. Slowly back, go up and down. So try this probably 15 minutes each side to two, three sets. You're gonna feel the difference right here. All the flabby area, let's get rid of. Thank you, see you.